Hey everybody, it's Eager Plus in the last ep Hey everybody, it's Eager Plus. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV in the last episode. I had a beard. Not just like a beard, but like a beard. And it, go watch the last episode, you'll know. In the last episode, also, we got the best sword in the game for quite a while, the Slumber Sword for Cecil. So, yeah! Now there's not really much to do except uh, go to Troya, but first I'm going to want to sell all my access stuff I don't need here at Baron. Because I uh, don't want to take up valuable inventory space. Now, forgive me guys, if you see me put stuff in my mouth during this episode, that seemed odd, but bear with me. Um, I haven't eaten anything yet today. Um, I, ep I recorded the last episode on the same day as I'm uploading, or not uploading, but recording this episode, and it's noon 30, and I haven't eaten anything yet. So, if you see me, like, eating Pop-Tarts, that's, that's why. Because I haven't eaten anything yet today. I guess we got crap I don't need. Unicorn horns, which I'm really never going to use. This Coral's Whisker, which fetches us a pretty penny. The Silver Apple, which is not in your best interest to sell because it's amazing and it's worth no money. And this Bomb Spirit, which I don't care if it's ten or five. This Alarm Clock, which I don't need. I don't even really need the... I'm going to want to keep this exit door for later. Um, I'm actually going to sell my uh, art glasses because, in all candor, I'm not going to use them. But, like, I used two Berserk Juices in the last episode. Uh, one was off-screen, so... That would explain why you guys might not be aware. But... Lots of stuff happened in the last episode. Lots of big stuff. Okay, so this is... This is everything. It's everything I need. Alright. Speaking of my Pop-Tart... Whoa! I don't know how to sell it in. Go over there and do it then. I'm talking down with it, my man. My god, I can't even understand myself. I'll limit myself to how much I actually speak with food in my mouth. That little thing I just did there. Obviously a joke. Cat, you get weirder every day. Is it because I'm not paying any attention to you? Probably. Anyway, this is Toria Castle. I'd stop by the town, but I'm going to want to do that anyway, so I'd rather just get the plot stuff done first. Hello. Prime Minister. Clerics are in the chamber. Uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Thought you were a dancer. Okay, so the clerics are eight sisters. As you guys can see. Oh, that's not good. Must have a severe electromagnetic something or other going on. Dark Elf lives there. Weak to metal weapons. The gravitational field is amazing. I'm going to lend us the crystal. We can get it. It was stolen by the Dark Elf. Alright! So, the, looks like the common denominator for this episode is going to be go to this cave where we can't wear any metal and fight something that's weak to metal. I don't get it. I do think it's actually really neat, though, for once in a game's lifetime. Uh, it has a kingdom that's governed entirely by women. Hey, is that? No! He survived! I was hoping he was gonna be one of the ones that died! Hi, Edward! It's you, Cecil! You survived! Thank God! I'll fight, too! No, you won't! Just because we have an extra party member slot doesn't mean you s can have it. Uh, so is he going to join my party or not? It looks like he's not coming with us. Okay, just make Yang feel bad. See, you're a burden to everyone. 
Okay, I think he's staying here. This is good. I'm sorry I'm not talking or reading the dialogue, it's just I'm a little... hopeful that we don't get stupid here back in our party. Okay, so we need the Crystal of Earth. Yep, we know it's been stolen by the Dark Elf. What? Do you have, like, this special thing that beats elves? Plus seven to attack for elves. The Echoer. Hmm. Otherwise known as the Whisperweed, or in the NES... NES? I wish! But in the, uh, Super Nintendo version we got here in America, otherwise known as the Twin Harp. But it's often referred to as the Whisperweed, or something else, something or other. Now, over here to the right is an area we can't go to yet. Well, we can get some things, but we can't get everything there. So I'm just going to want to wait until we can get everything to bother. Okay, so remember how so far a lot in this Let's Play I've been running away from random battles? This next area, I'm going to be running away from a lot of random battles. Not because they're bothersome, but because I can't win. So as you can see, they sell leather stuff, and feather stuff, and cloth, and ruby rings. No thank you. It's a waste of money. I want to have nothing to do with it. So here we have a mallet, great bow. Ridiculous. Oh, there's something I want to do. How much money do I have? Enough. Is that enough? Yes, that's plenty. I'm probably going to have to do this off screen, because I should have done this a while ago anyway in the last episode and I forgot because I'm an idiot. I'm going to want to go back to Mithril and um, pick up a metal or er, Mithril hammer for Sid because he's going to need one. Black Chocolate Farm. How do I get around? I, I, I know where to go. I know where to go. I know where to go. I know the way to San Jose and I do also happen to know where in the world Carmen San Diego is. So we take this little watery, watery place here. This little this tributary of water. Naming way, get lost. I have no need to name anybody today. Or tomorrow. Or the day after that. So here we get money. And we get a dry ether, which is, which just basically gets more gives more ether than a regular ether. Scrape. What the balls is that? I don't know what this is. It might be like a decoy doll. Which allows us to run from battle. And if it is, that's cool, but I'll probably just end up selling it if I don't use it in battle first just to see what it does. Why am I walking? I could very easily just warp out of here and be done. But no, I'm a fool. And I walk. Because walking is good for you. I can't run. I don't have the endurance to run. I can sprint. I can sprint like it's nobody's business. I might weigh 230 pounds, but I can sprint. So I got a hammer for Sid, but I don't want to equip him with it just yet. I'm gonna wait a while. I might be able to get through this area in one episode. But it'll be a 20-something minute episode. You know, I'm screw the YouTube, you know, 10 minutes is the optimal video. Um, but it has been 10 minutes. So I... Death Beauty and Wood Eyes! Otherwise known as Man-Eating Flowers and Trends. Yang's still wearing fire? He should be. Sweet and full flame! Forgot I was using that sword already. If Yang's using fire claws, then this trench should go really fast. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, trends are also weak to ice, by the way. So, I, you know what? I'm just gonna block with you, Tella. You know, it's not worth it for me to... Go... Oh, hey! Look at what he can do! I should probably be using... What's Pollen do? Didn't deal any... Ah! Deal sap stats! That's what it is. So, stay away from the Pollen. Especially if you're allergic, because that's just not a good day. I've never met somebody who was allergic to Pollen that, like, got, like... You know, needed an EpiPen. I think pollen's just one of those allergies where it's no, I don't fight back attacks. 
I don't fight back attacks. Run. Run away! Do it now! Whoa, whoa, we're waiting. No point in cutting that. Because a lot of things would not make sense. I'd cut myself off mid-sentence. The moment I came back, I'd have food in my mouth. It wouldn't be worth it. I've never met somebody who was allergic to pollen that, like, got, like, you know, needed an EpiPen. No point in cutting that. Because a lot of things would not make sense. Okay, let's heal everybody up so we can talk to the white chuck about and get all of our health magic back. Oh my god, tell it. Freaking get all your health back. There we go. So as you can see, there are black chuck bows in this forest. I'm gonna want one. Isn't there a secret I can get here? I think there is. I think it's just a carrot, though. However, I will check. I just, I don't know. Veggie, veggie. Yep, they're carrots. Carrots, they're good for you, but are they really? Okay, a little fun fact about this chuckabo forest. If I could grab the frickin' black chuckabo, uh, this particular chuckabo forest, if you look at a map of it, it's, um, the same, it's the shape of a chuckabo. I think it's actually pretty cool. So there's no, so the reason, I probably should have explained this, the reason why we came up here is because on a chuckabo, uh, chuckabos can only land in the forest, and there is no open land spots for the Enterprise to land, so we needed to grab a chuckabo. You know, Kitty, my camera can hear that. My camera can hear you playing. I'm glad you're having a good time, but my camera can hear that. I think you got the point. Okay, so I didn't want to go to items. Why did I do that? Equipment. I'm going to want to go into equipment and take off all my metal. All my full metal. But I'm only going to be taking off the metal, because if I take off anything that isn't metal, I'm going to forget about it later. Like the bandana, that's staying on. Otherwise, I'm going to forget to re-equip it. Because... For anybody that forgot already, we can't have metal in here. I don't think the triangle is metal. And, uh... We'll, we'll give Yang some slack and see if his claws are okay. I'm gonna want to save here, too. What am I doing? Oh no, it's the power! The gravity here is so strong! We won't even be able to move if we equip anything as heavy as metal! My claws appear to be alright. Don't worry, we still have my magic! So Cecil and Sid are going to be pretty dang useless in here. Which is why I'm going to want to hit the change button. And put Yang in the front. And we can just keep going. So I don't think I'll be able to get all the way through this dungeon, but I'll make it enough of the way. This is not a way to start, to start a dungeon. This is not the way to start a dungeon. I don't need to level grind for this dungeon, actually. I just run from every battle. So I will be cutting them out, because I'm just going to run. Like that. Here we get a high potion. Never hurt anybody. I mean, like, there... I, there's nothing really significant that you can find in this dungeon. I mean, it's like all ogres, Kate Siths, which are like panthers, and they cast death on you. Ogres are just really strong, and they're strong against magic. Uh, there are mind flayers, and they're just basically magicians, and you know, just just stuff I don't care about. So I'm not gonna show it. I'm not gonna show any of it. It's not worth it to me. It wouldn't be worth it to you. Just for me to go, no, no, run, run, this is bad. This is bad, I don't want to do this. You know, it just, it wouldn't be worth it to me. I think there's something over to the left, but I think I'm going to find my way over there anyway. I'm going to want to go here first. <clears throat> I don't fight ogres. 
I don't fight ogres. I don't think there's anything down and left. I just bet that ether's there, so I'm gonna grab it. Here we have a door. Get used to these door symbols, because we'll be running into these later in the game. Alongside your typical monsters that I mentioned earlier. You can also run into, like, Nagas and Twin Snakes in here. Oh, luckily, I keep running and it's taking my money, but the game keeps giving me money back. So that's cool. I hate back attacks. I hate back attacks. They're not cool. Nobody likes you. Go home. Alright, made it to a safe location. I always think there's something in those crates. So, that does it for me in this episode, guys. This has been Zero Gear Plus. My Let's Play of Let's Play Final My Let's Play of Let's Play. My Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. That's the end of this episode. Click the like button and the subscribe button so that you can keep up to date on the episodes of this that I put out. Uh, hit the annotations on the video so that you can see the previous episode and the next episode if you're watching this in the future. So, this is... I don't like this place. <laughs>